This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, I will show you how to create this liquid logo animation in After Effects without using any plugins. This animation is inspired from one of the video hive template made by the author Motive Craft and all the credit goes to him for this amazing work. You can check out his portfolio link is in the description below. With that said, let's straight away jump into After Effects and get started with today's tutorial. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render com 1920 by 1080 30 FPS and let's make this 10 seconds long and press OK. Let's create another new composition. This is going to be our logo placeholder. So let's call this logo and press OK. Here I have a simple logo that I will be using for this particular tutorial. I'm going to just set this down to 75%. That looks fine. You can, of course, add any text or any logo that you want to use for this particular animation. Usually, flat logos will work much better in this animation. Also, before we proceed ahead, I want you to download a free After Effects script called FX Console that will help us to move much more efficiently and quickly. Basically, whenever we want to add any effect onto any layer, what we usually do is select the layer. Go into effects and presets and let's say I want to add a fill. I need to search for fill, double click or drag and drop it onto the particular layer. But with FX console, you can just select the layer, press control space and a pop up will appear like this. You can search for the effect and hit enter and it's going to get applied. So it's going to save you some time in case if you don't want to download it, it's absolutely fine. Just so that you know, I will be using this script throughout this video so that we can work much more efficiently because we will be using a lot of different effects and it basically saves time. But in case if you don't want to use it, you can anytime go into effects and presets, search for the particular effect and apply it. All right. So it's completely free. All you have to do is download and install it. Now, first we will start by creating those bubbly foam animation. So to do that, I'll create a new composition and type in foam map. So this is going to be a map that will help us to drive that animation. Let's drag in our logo composition and then I will add an effect called fill. Let's make this black and below this, I will add a solid composite effect so that we have a nice black and white fill over our logo without the need to add a background layer. And then I will add a fast box splurge um, just so that we don't have any sharp edges. So that is looking fine. That's all we have to do in the foam map. I often remember when I first tried learning things like this, it was overwhelming because back then resources were all over the place and I would spend hours searching for answers. Learning felt like solving a giant puzzle with missing pieces. But now things are different because of Skillshare and it's been a game changer for me. And guess what? They are also our today's sponsor. Recently, I came across a class on motion graphics expression by Jake Bartlett that completely transformed how I approach my animation in After Effects. For those who don't know, it's not just motion graphics. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives. They have thousands of classes taught by industry experts covering everything from graphic designing, filmmaking, illustration to productivity and freelancing. Of course, Skillshare's learn by doing approach makes it very easy to pick up new skills. They are great for mastering any skill or software like After Effects or even storytelling. One of my favorite things about Skillshare is how accessible it is. You can learn at your own pace, stack lessons and immediately apply what you have learned. If you are into creative work, it's definitely worth checking out Skillshare. I have left a link in the description for you to try it out and see how it helps you. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial for Skillshare. Now I will start by creating a foam composition. So I'll call this foam underscore zero one. Press OK. Then I will add a logo composition and the foam map composition that we just created. We can hide the logo com. Let's create a new adjustment layer. So right click, go into new adjustment layer. We can call this foam and keep it in between these two layers. Change the blend mode of this to add. If you don't see this blend mode option, you can click on toggle switch modes and that should make it visible. And then change the track mat of this to foam map and make sure to click on Luma mat and make it inverted. All right. And then on the foam adjustment layer, I'll add a foam effect. 
So this is one of the most least used effect in After Effects, but it can be super useful for these kind of uh, animations that we are going for. Let's set the view from draft to render. So you can see the final output. Let's go into the producer and I'll set the producer point to somewhere around 960 by 960 should be fine. Set the producer Y size to zero and let's bring up this one a little bit by 0 0.45 turn off the zoom producer point and let's also keyframe the production rate of the foam so what we can do is go to three seconds and set the production rate to zero create a keyframe now go one frame backward in time by pressing page up and set this to 75 so now we have this foam animating and then it fades out like so i think three seconds is a bit too far let's move those keyframes at around two seconds all right then go into the bubbles option let's bring the size down to 0 0.05 and also bring down the size variation to 0.4 bring down the lifespan to 70 and also let's increase the bubble growth speed to 0.5 that's all i think this is looking quite nice Let's go into the physics section. I'll bring up the wind speed to 2 and we don't want any wind direction. So let's set this to 0. Increase the turbulence to 1 and bring up the pop velocity to 0.2. Also, I'll increase the viscosity to 4 and the stickiness to 4. So that is looking pretty nice. Now let's go into the rendering. Switch the blend mode of this from transparent to solid new on top. And in the bubble texture, I will set this to soda water. You, you have number of different presets to play around with. I'm going to set this to soda water and then change the environment map to the logo composition that we just added below. Also, I'll increase the reflection strength to one and bring down the reflection conversions to maybe 0 0.01. Yeah, that looks much better. But feel free to play around with these settings that I'm using here. Let's go in the flow map. And and set the flow map to foam map and bring down the flow map steepness to one. So now you can see the bubbles are getting collected inside our logo. And that is what I want to go for. Pretty nice. Everything else is fine. I don't think we need to make any changes. So that is foam one. Let's duplicate this composition in the project panel. So let's select this, press control D. Now we have foam two. And I'm going to jump into that, select the foam, go into effects and presets and let's make some changes in the bubble section, I believe. Let's increase the lifespan to 80 Then go into physics, bring down the wind speed to 1 and also increase the turbulence to 2. And that is all the changes that we have to do in the foam too. Now let's create a logo revealing mat for our logo. So I'm going to call this logo reveal composition. Press OK. Add the logo comp. And on top, I will add a new solid layer. So press Ctrl Y to create a new solid. We can call this reveal. Press OK. And change the blend mode of this layer to something like stencil alpha. Then I'll select the layer, add an effect called CC radial scale wipe. Go to three seconds, create a keyframe on the completion. Go back and let's set this to around 70%. So now we have something like this. Let's change the position of the scale wipe to somewhere around here at the top so we have something like this pretty cool let's add a turbulent displace on this so i'll search for turbulent displace effect add it set the preset to turbulent smoother and increase the amount to 100 and bring down the size to 50. duplicate this so now we have turbulent displace 2 set this back to turbulent let's increase this to 150 and this one to 100 so now we have something like this we have some nice randomness as you can see but to make it look even more interesting what we can do is add one of my favorite effect called rough in edges increase the border to around 50 should be fine and also increase the edge sharpness to 10 and bring down the scale to 25 so now we have this nice grungy look we can also play around with the complexity so let's set this to three i believe three looks fine and then I'll add an effect called CC Blobilize. Go into Blobiness and set this to Logo. So now we have this really interesting look. Set the property to Alpha. And bring down the softness to 5 and increase the cutaway to 30. So now we have this really nice reveal as you can see.
you can always play around with the rough and edges so you can bring up the complexity if you want to to get a really interesting look or bring that down i think three is just fine but make sure you play around with the softness of the blobbiness as well you know to get a really different look so that is our reveal for the logo now let's create a nice reflection for our logo just to add a nice three dimension look so i'm gonna create a new composition called this reflection map and here i have a reflection map that i will be using feel free to download the free project file link is in the description and you will get all these assets that i'm using in this particular tutorial so i'm gonna bring that down let's scale this down a little bit like so add a motion tile effect and let's expand the width and height so let's expand the width actually we don't need to expand the height you can just place it right over here and also turn on mirrored edges scale that up a little bit i think we can keep it somewhere around there and let's animate the position so create a keyframe let's drag this here go to around 10 seconds and drag it like so so we have a movement i think it's a bit too fast so let's place it somewhere around here yep that is looking much better for now i'll just leave the reflection map at this particular moment but if you want to make any changes we can come back later on let's create a reflection reveal so i'm going to call this a ref reveal add the logo composition on on top of that i will add the reflection map select the layer add a turbulent displace effect set this to turbulent smoother and let's increase that around 100 let's also add a fast box blur i think it's very sharp at the moment the lines are quite sharp so let's set this to around 7 so that's fine now let's add a new solid layer press ctrl y call this displace press ok and change the blend mode of this to stencil alpha add a cc radial scale wipe again or we can simply just copy this effect from the logo reveal so i'm going to select these three effects so what i'm going to do is close all these effects and just select the cc radial scale wipe the turbulent displace and the cc blobby lies copy this and paste on this displacement layer make sure the time indicator is at the very start and then press ctrl v to paste it go into the blobbiness and set this to logo so now we have something like this pretty cool right and just to add another layer of detail we can create a new adjustment layer call this glass select it and add a cc glass effect go into surface and set this to logo bring that down to 5 and the height to 5 as well we don't want any displacement so i'll set this to 0 so now we have another layer of detail as you can see pretty cool i think i'll bring down the um the fast blur effect down to four so have we have a little bit more detail in the reflection but we can tweak it anytime later if you want to so no worries so that's looking nice all right so now we can go into our main render composition and start building up the full scene so i'll press ctrl y to create a new solid called this bg for background make this black press ok let's add the logo reveal composition to and set this to around 15 frames there we go also for the background i can add a gradient ramp on this set this to radial swap colors and set this to a nice dark blue color like so so that is looking much better always switch to 16 bits per channel so hold alt and click on this okay so that is looking much better now let's duplicate the logo reveal composition press ctrl d pull this forward okay and then i'll change the blending mode of this to add okay so now we have some layer of detail and on this i'll add an effect called vegas change the segments to one and change the blending mode of this to stencil so now we have something like this Let's also add a fast blur on this and set this to around 20. Also, I'll increase the width of this to around 20. So we have this really nice layer of detail. 
as you can see pretty nice let's duplicate this one more time and we can delete this effects change the blend mode to normal add a fast box blur on this of around 10 should be fine and then i'll add a fractal noise effect change the blend mode of this to multiply let's set the preset to something like swirly and turn on invert go into transform properties and scale this up to around 200 should be fine let's bring down the complexity to 2 and let's animate the evolution so we can simply add a very simple expression hold alt and click on stopwatch type in time into 100 so now we have this really nice animation as you can see it looks like we have this water flowing on i think the blur is a bit too intense so let's bring that down to 8 let's see we have another layer of detail let's duplicate this composition which has the vegas effect applied on this press ctrl d bring it on top and change the width of this to around 5 and bring down the fast box blur to around 10 so that is looking quite nice let's duplicate this one more time press ctrl d drag this composition or layer to around 3 seconds like so we can delete this effects and set the blend mode of this to normal add an effect called bevel alpha let's set this to around 3 so that is looking nice it adds a really nice depth i think 3 is way too much maybe 1.5 should be fine yeah that looks much better then go at 3 seconds select these three composition by the way we can change the color of this so that we know it's a different comp press t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe go to 4 seconds and set them down to 0 we can easy ease them there we go looking pretty nice i think or maybe let's let's drag this keyframes to 5 seconds all right let's go back in the project panel and search for our reflection reveal layer place it right here at 3 seconds and change the blend mode of this to soft light so this will add a nice layer of this reflection that we just created there we go looking good let's drag a logo reveal composition again on top change the blend mode of this to add and i'll add a cc radial blur on this set this to fading zoom and i'll set the amount to 120 then we will add a fast box blur on this let's say around 15 should be fine and then bring down the opacity to around 30 or something so that looks fine now we can add the foam to composition on top change the blending mode of this to add as well and then drag the foam one composition change this to add and i have some embers so i'll add that layer on top as well change the blend mode of that to add as well we can also add tint on this embers just so to make them look a bit more blue that looks much better and now let's preview our complete animation okay i think the embers are starting far quickly so i'll set them to around one sec and bring down the scaling to somewhere around there so 60 percent should be fine and there we go there we have our animation looking really good and the best part about this animation is you can anytime change the logo and you don't need to recreate the complete animation so let's say instead of logo even if i add a different text so maybe something like when i don't know why i'm using when but you know let's just add it and for the font i'll use something like this one and pretty quickly i'll add a ramp preview sorry gradient ramp not a ramp preview let's make it something like a nice yellow and this one a nice orange just for reference and if i go back everything is gonna get updated and boom there we have it all you have to do is change the background color to something like a nice orange and there you have a different animation with the same concept basically so it's really useful it's really uh, interesting to create this animation i hope you enjoyed this and learned something new um, through this video if you did make sure to leave a like and comment down below you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and if you enjoy these kind of uh, logo reveal tutorials i have a complete playlist ready for you that you can binge watch right now by clicking right here 
And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.